What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube, and today we're gonna take a look at how to filter reports through the URL in the Power BI service. That's coming up. I hope you guys are having a great day. Maybe I can make it a little better by sharing with you how to filter these reports through the URL. I've seen this in a few forum posts. We actually have this documented on the Power BI documentation site. It's You may not have been able to find it though, and I've been pinged a few times on how do you actually do this. So for those that may not know, you can actually filter a report by putting a query string onto the report URL. First, you're gonna to need to go get that report URL, and then you're gonna put question mark, filter equals, and then the format's gonna be table forward slash, which goes from Maine to California, the field name that you're interested in, space EQ for equals, space, and then in single quotes, the actual string that you wanna filter on. There's no setting that you need to turn on to enable this. It should work for any report and any field in your data set. There are a couple things that you need to be aware of. First thing is that your field has to be a string or text data type. Also the table name and the field name cannot have a space inside of it. The table and the field name are case sensitive. So if you have an uppercase letter in there, it needs to be an uppercase in the query string. The value itself from what I found was not case sensitive. Another cool thing about this is that if the field is actually hidden from report view, you can still filter on it. So it doesn't need to be available from a report perspective. Also with that, the field also doesn't need to be in the filter pane in the report itself. So it can be just not in that filter pane at all and you can filter on that field if it's in your data set. The other thing that you may have noticed is I said it has to be, the actual value has to be enclosed inside of single quotes on either side. So that has to be there. So if you don't have those single quotes, you're not gonna see anything happen. Okay, so for my example, what I'm doing is I've got the retail analysis sample, and what I'm doing is the table name is gonna be store slash territory EQ, and in single quotes, NC for North Carolina. And that matches the territory field in the data set with the value of North Carolina. So that's how you filter a report with a single value off of the query string. The other thing to be aware of here is that this filter, we can only filter a single field. So we can't do uh, field territory and then do an and and then another field. So you can only have one field. And you may be saying that sounds great, but what if I wanna filter more than one field? So let's talk about that. In my case, I have a field, the territory field, and I also have a field called chain, which is the actual, like the location of, or the store type. And I may wanna be able to filter off of both of those. And I may say, I wanna, I wanna look at stores that are in this territory and this chain name. And so how do I do that? I can create a custom column and call it territory chain and just give it a DAX expression that concatenates those two strings together. So I'll be territory plus, and then in single quotes, a space, another plus, and then the chain field. Once that's done, I can publish that to the Power BI service, and then in my query string, I'm gonna put my field name of territory chain, EQ, and then in single quotes, NC space, whatever I had in the single quotes, so space or maybe a hyphen, and then after that, the name of the chain itself. And now I'm filtering on two fields instead of just one. Somewhat of a hack, but it could work for you in certain situations. Okay, great, so I've got the URL. I can pass that to my colleagues and let them use that to filter on certain things. I can maybe embed that in an email and let them go to a certain filtered view of the report. Another thing you can do with this is actually use that as the custom URL of a tile. So when you create a tile off of a report, you may slice it a certain way, you may filter it a certain way, but if that's not saved with the report itself, when you click on that tile, the report's gonna go back to its default state. So what you can do is add this filtered URL to the custom URL field of a tile. Then when you click on that tile, it's gonna go back to that filtered state. So that may be something that may benefit you and help the user experience with interactions between the dashboard and the report itself. Okay, have you used the filter in the query string before with your reports? Did it work for you? Is there maybe another way that you can use this instead of just the tile URL, or you can think of some other creative way to use that. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and share that with everybody else. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content from both myself and Patrick. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.